Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Tracy Ada. And uh, today I'm talking about something which is so sad. The alarming rate in which accidents have been happening. I know you all know. The Kenyatta University has lost uh, quite a number of comrades who had gone on an educational trip to coast. And um, I think 11 of them have passed on and several others were injured. And those who were injured have been airlifted back to Nairobi for further treatment. My sincere heartfelt condolences to families affected, to the entire Kenyatta University. And uh, I being among the comrades, I just feel so sad about it. But I only wish those who rested to rest in peace and um, may perpetual light shine upon them. It is so sad that young souls are dying. You know, it is something we cannot assume and just sit like nothing is happening. The School of Public Health has faced a, a big blow uh, when that accident happened. Even classes have been cancelled to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday to enable uh, the administration for the entire Kenyatta University to deal with the tragic loss. And a um, few days ago, we also lost Brian Chira. We all know Brian Chira. And uh, yesterday also, there was another accident in um, Olingurwani Bomet Road via Silibuet. And uh, I'm very sorry for the affected families. I'm very sorry for those who sustained injuries. And I'm wishing them big recovery. My sincere heartfelt condolences to the family of Chongin Comedian and uh, the rest of the people who lost their lives in that tragic road accident between uh, Bomet Traveller Sako and a trainer. I cannot exhaust the number of accidents that have been happening. We all know of Kiptum, the world champion uh, record holder who lost his life in a tragic road accident. We all are aware of uh, the Capsapet Boys bus that lost uh, control and rolled somewhere and two lives were lost a teacher and a student i heard there was another accident yesterday night also of a matatu from rongo i think to somewhere i don't remember the name like it's we even lost count of all those accidents that have been happening my question is what is happening to our country where did we go wrong? You know, we all say accidents are accidents, but some accidents are avoidable. You know, I saw Chongin posting Brian Chira saying that it is hard losing such a young soul. Two days, roughly, not even two days later, Chongin is dead with the same road accident. It tells me that life is so unpredictable. You can be very healthy. You don't know the next hour. That thing freaks me out. Like, I just feel, God, help us. We need to go back to God. We need to pray. Pray, pray, pray for Kenya. Pray for your siblings. Pray to pray for them because, hey, hey, the rate at which people are dying, it's so alarming. I also wanted to say some of the things we can avoid. For example, um, these vehicles that carry passengers more than it's supposed to be, I think it begins with us. If we refuse to board a car that is full, believe me, you, those passenger operators will have no other option. They'll just carry the number of people needed. It's so sad. I had that uh, matter to the Pomet Travelers matter to had almost 23 passengers and it is a 14-seater and you know what is making it difficult is the fact that sometimes when you refuse to let someone inside the car when it is full those matter to operators 
become so abusive. Not only the matter to operators, but it's sad even some of the passengers join hands with those people. Instead of fighting for their rights, instead of fighting for the safety of their lives, they collude with those matatu operators and they become a verbally abusive to someone who has complained about overloading. It's so sad. It is a sad state of affairs. Uh, I know it's not hard for us all to decide not to board a car that has, is already full. It is not hard. And, um, the also issue of over speeding, driving under influence. We all know those other reasons that causes road accidents that we can avoid because you know some other accidents we cannot avoid. We can avoid, let's avoid. But once again, let's just go back to God. Let's just repent. Let us just pray. Pray against these accidents. You know, this year started in a bad note with the issue of uh, Akina Scarlet Wahoo. I think it started with a very, very bad pace, a very bad tone. Let us continue being kind to others. Be in good terms with people, Let's love others, our friends. Because we do not know, we do not, life is becoming so unpredictable. I used to think people die of old age. But it's sad young people are losing their souls. So many unfulfilled dreams inside the graves. Let us pray for life. Let us hope for the best. Let us love one another. Let us stop unkindness. Let us be kind to people. And once again, I'm very sorry for the lives that were lost. And uh, I wish them to rest in peace. Thank you, and let's meet again in another video. Bye-bye.